Hi! We're gonna be learning how to mod your Left 4 Dead 2 game. Now, Steam is really mod friendly and most skins and games are free. So let's get started. So log into Steam and make sure that you're connected to the internet. <laughs> Select community and then workshop. And then it's going to take you to the workshop tab. So if we go all for workshop, it's gonna take you all the way here. I want to search for Genshin Impact mods because I love Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact. Let's search Genshin Impact and let's see what mods we can add. There's some real sussy mods, not gonna lie. <laughs> not gonna lie, sorry. So let's, let's, add, let's see if we can find an Alhatham model. Al Hatham, Al Hatham. Nick replaces, no, Al Hatham replaces Nick. Let's click on that. It's a commission. And we're gonna just click the subscribe button. We know we wanna replace Nick from Left 4 Dead 2. So always keep in mind which survivor or which asset you want to replace with this uh, new skin. So we're gonna click subscribe. And if I click away, go done. It will show up in your add-ons tab in Left 4 Dead 2. So open up your Left 4 Dead 2 game. Select add-ons. Okay. If you've just downloaded Left 4 if you've just downloaded Left 4 Dead 2, this add-on section will be empty aside from your one add-on that you've added. Now it's this section is very important because if you have conflicting add-ons such as having two mods of the same of the same character for instance uh nick who is the original character in left 4 dead 2 your game might crash your online games co-op experience will crash as well so just be mindful if any of your mods are in the red just ensure that any duplicates are checked off. So I'm going to check, I'm going to uncheck Nick. And my new Al Hatham Nick model will be replacing that old Nick. So once that is done, I'm gonna select done. We're going to go single player. I'm going to start off with just a normal game. Nick will show up here with the icon. If the original characters from the game are still appearing in this section, that will indicate that your mod didn't uh, add correctly or something wrong has happened to your game. So just keep this in mind. This is very helpful. Um, the modders will usually add a little icon image, which is really nice. Now let's start the game. We'll load her up. We're, lo we're loading her up. <sighs> She's loaded up. It'll take a while. <laughs> the more mods that you have, the longer... Um, it will take for your game to load so just be mindful of that and now i have al hatham as nick just like that i can now play as al hatham from the smash hit genshin impact and 
The interesting part about this is that it does not change the gameplay. It is just a skin. Um, you can add voice voice mods as well to this game to replace dialogue. You can also add modded maps created by um, the modding community on Steam. And this is mostly for free. You can also commission people to create these mods for you um, online, but most of these are free. So you don't have to pay like microtransactions or any bullshit like that. And this game has been out since 2009. <laughs> so happy modding everyone and I hope this helps. Goodbye!